Hey friends, this is another wreath basics tutorial sharing how I create my extra large base using an 18 inch wire frame, some 21 inch deco mesh, as well as 10 inch uh, cruffles. And so I have this now in my library, in my playlist over on my YouTube channel. I have a wreath basics playlist of all of my favorite wreath and bases that I like to do that I will refer to when sharing, um, you know, different wreaths that I do. I will, you know, you know, instead to keep the videos a little bit shorter, um, I kind of streamline and will refer to this wreath basics tutorial a lot. All right. So what I'm starting with is an 18 inch wire frame. Now this is bigger than the 14 inch. That is my favorite, the 14 inch, but this is a larger, um, 18 inch wire frame that I got. Um, I'm thinking this one was from Dollar Tree, but Hobby Lobby and other craft stores and Walmart also has them. And so what I'm also starting with is some 21 inch uh, burlap deco mesh and that is from Hobby Lobby and then just some tan Chanel stems or pipe cleaners. And so what I do is um, I just start in one, you know, one, uh, one wire and I put the pipe cleaner in there and then I go across and then I secure it with another pipe cleaner. Now the reason that I do that is because I usually put signs on my wreaths and I do not like it. I, I want a little cushion and I want, um, I don't want it, I want it to be secure. I don't want it to like D, you know dip down in there so that's the reason why I do this it just adds a little bit extra fluffiness underneath there and so then what I do is I measure about eight inches and I just poof around um, just securing the pipe cleaner on the wires and uh, or like the bars and then what I do is I just go around and put like about eight inch poofs. When I get to um, this part, I will, um, you know, untwist that and then twist it back and then continue to go around and put eight inch poofs uh, on this. What I'm doing is I'm gathering uh, or putting the pipe cleaner on the two inner rings and then that's how I secure my pipe cleaner and then once I get to the end of that then I will um, drop down to the outer ring and I just pull those two outer rings I always 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 go two rings to give it extra stability and security I never just put my mesh on one ring I always grab two rings so that it gives, like I said, extra stability. When I meet back up at the point where I started, I drop down to the bottom two rings and then I will secure a pipe cleaner. And then these poofs, uh, you know, since it's the outer ring, they're um, probably between nine and nine and a half inches. They're not quite 10 inches on this particular one because I am adding some 10 inch mesh. So I didn't, uh, you know, I just wanted to put this, uh, you know, burlap mesh on here just to give it an added layer. Um, I really feel that it just, you know, for my country wreaths, it really just adds the softness and the fullness that I do like for my country wreaths. And uh, so then once I get to the end, then I will secure it, everything with a pipe cleaner. And then I just cut it off with my scissors. And then um, for this right now, I have 16 pipe cleaners on this wreath. And um, I'm going to cut my 10 inch mesh and I'll show you how I do that to secure it onto this wreath. Now, this is an extra large wreath that I consider extra large. And so it, you know, it does take more material. And uh, so right now I have 16 pipe cleaners on it. But as we go along and I add, uh, you know, the 10 inch mesh, it is going to end up being 24 uh, pipe cleaners on here, but I will definitely show you that and finish this wreath basics wreath tutorial with you with the 21 inch mesh and adding the 10 inch curls. To add my 10 inch mesh, what I'm you well, what I'm starting with are these four 
10 inch mesh and all of them came from Hobby Lobby and uh, I cut these out at 12 inches and I cut out eight of these I'm gonna put two with one and two in the other and so uh, as I said these all came from Hobby Lobby and so to make my cruffles what I do is I just bend over uh, one end so that I don't have the fraying. I clip it with um, just a little clip that I get from the Dollar Tree and then um, I uh, roll it over two times. Then I, you know, go to the other side, do the same thing, bend it, uh, bend it over and then roll it two times. And then I just gather it in the middle to make like a taco. <laughs> That's just kind of what I call it. And uh, so these two burlap meshes are going to go together. That is gonna be in one of the 16, tie, uh, 16 ties. And then I'm gonna cut um, my other 10 inch mesh also at 12 inches. I make my cruffles the same way. Uh, and then I put them together like in an X pattern. And so then I will alternate in a zigzag pattern um, this bundle right here. And then I will also do the other bundle. And then that will give me the 16 uh, ties that I want with this burlap mesh. Now, I'm just sharing it only because I do country style wreaths and I use a lot of burlap. And so um, you can use the same method, the same process with different colors of mesh. Uh, and if you want even more, if you want your cruffles to be larger, then, you know, just cut your mesh larger. And so it just really each wreath maker has to find their own system and their own way of doing things. But I just kind of share because I've been getting a lot of requests. And so I just share um, what works for me and what basics I use. So then now I have eight uh, bundles of each burlap mesh in each tie for a total of 16. So then uh, just to give it a little color because I was doing a strawberry wreath um, at the time that I was filming this. And so what I did is I pulled out this 10 inch uh, kind of of olive green with burlap that also came from Hobby Lobby. Now I'm going to be putting this in the like the holes uh, in between those meshes. So I cut this at 14 inches. I'm going to do my cruffles the same way. But what I did is I flipped them over three times instead of the normal two. And so then, uh, like I said, this is the only mesh that I'm going to be using. So that's why I cut it at 14 inches. Usually I cut it at 12 inches I'm, if I'm going to be using two 10 inch mesh. But uh, this is, I kind of consider this a specialty mesh. It's a little bit thicker better quality and so I like it and so what I'm going to show you here like in between where the uh, bundles are uh, I kind of called up my holes and so what I do is um, I just went on the two outer rings gather those just put a pipe cleaner in there and then just uh, just secure that 10 inch mesh just like that and uh, just you know, went around and put eight of those. So I have a total of 24 pipe cleaners to put my ribbon in. And so then um, I will leave a link, uh, you know, to the finished um, video of what I did for this particular one. I just filmed it and I wanted to put this wreath basics, uh, you know, tutorial into my wreath basics playlist. So those that may be struggling with uh, putting mesh on larger 18 inch frames, this is how I do it. <laughs> 